Hey, my name is James Phillips, military law attorney. I just want to talk to you today about a story of something that happened to me. One of my clients taught me a lesson, and here's what it is. I'm not God, but I may be an emissary of God. So here's what happened. My client was a chaplain, and he was accused of sexually assaulting his adopted stepdaughter. He was accused of basically forcing her to have incest with him. He had beat up one of his kids, and he was literally, after having sex with his daughter downstairs, walked upstairs to his wife and said, now it's time that you basically have sex with me because that's your duty, and he forced her to have sex. So this is what the allegations were. There was strong, credible evidence that all this happened. I had fought for his case so much so that I literally filed a motion with with the judge that says incest should be legal. Now, I don't really believe that, but this is the fight over this particular case because we are in a deep, deep hole. He was a chaplain, surprisingly, and basically as I'm going back and forth with them, I'm telling him, look, the evidence is really against you, but I got you this deal where you would have to serve three years in jail. We work back and forth, and it's a great deal for the time. I estimated that he would probably serve 12 years if we went all the way to trial on this thing. But he's telling me, look, I think God's going to save me on this thing. God's going to save me on this thing. And we start having these back and forth emails about his case, why there's bad things that are going to happen, the fact that it's not going to be looked at well, this whole scenario, all these people that supposedly love him and are in his family are testifying against him. And the evidence is dire. They have DNA evidence. They have video video evidence that government is just going to slam him. And he keeps telling me over and over again, I'm not going to take the deal. And at one point, he literally accuses me of trying to coerce him into a deal because I, as an attorney, am just telling him what my opinion was. He's got to have a cap so he doesn't go to jail for years and years and years. So we're doing this email back and forth about all this. And finally, he just says, God's going to save me from all this. And I write him back and I say, look, I know you believe in God and God's going to save you from this, but maybe God put an attorney in your life that is here to tell you what the right option options are for you. And I've been doing this long enough that maybe I'm the voice of God. I wasn't trying to do, say this in a way that was like disrespectful, but I'm saying maybe I'm somebody that's here to filter this information for you and give it to you in a way to get you to make a good decision and to take responsibility for what it is you've done. So he writes me back and says, no, I don't want that deal. I'm going to be saved at trial. So I'm like, okay, I'll be ready for trial is what I told him. You can imagine what trial looked like. It didn't go well. But I called him to the stand to testify. I basically came against all these witnesses, cross-examined them, and we fought hard to win this thing. But in the end, he lost, and the judge gave him 12 years of prison. So by not listening to me, he went nine years more in prison than he would have if he just would have accepted the deal and listened to me as potentially being a voice of reason. And so... What was interesting, though, is he went on appeal. He went to the appeals court and he said, look, my attorney tried to coerce me into taking a deal. And he basically showed this email back and forth. And what the court of appeals came back with, which was really amazing, totally backed me up. And what they said was, this is what the job of an attorney is. The job of the attorney is not to tell you what you want to hear, but to tell you what their experience and their ability to defend you at trial, what that means to you. And in the end, you have a choice. And it was really interesting because they noted and there was no way that that attorney was ever going to be able to force you to take a deal you didn't want to. And in fact, what he said in his email is he will be ready for trial and he will basically fight to the end. And that's what I did. So I relied on my client's decision, but I think it was a stupid decision. So give me a call, jphillipslaw22 at gmail.com, 931-217-7648. Make an appointment down below. But sometimes you got to believe your attorney and realize maybe he's there to tell you something that you need to know. Thank you.